Sixty percent is paid. It means we are taking up less than eighteen percent. And if care is not taken, and inflation goes up today or tomorrow, then it is reducing further. So I think that the earlier you finish these negotiations, is better. Is it fair to say you have reached a deadlock? Oh no, for now I wouldn't call it a deadlock. I will not call it a deadlock. When you say deadlock, then it means that uh, we cannot meet again. Then we have to refer the matter to, to labor, to arbitration or something. We are not there yet. You will be there if they want us to be there. But for now, we haven't reached deadlock. We expect that government will go and seek fresh mandate properly and come back and we meet. Does it mean that tomorrow the budget will be read? Then you don't have the input of the... You know, labor, labor, labor doesn't read budget. Labor doesn't read budget. The budget... The budget... The, hello? The budget is not for labor. The budget is for the government. It's government who read the budget. Labor doesn't read budget. So whether it will be read or not, that one is not my concern. Over the years, We've compromised and compromised. There is no money, there is no money, is the song government sing all the time. And this time they are singing the same song, there is no money. And it is because every year they come and they say there is no money, and then we get the benefit of the doubt. That is what has landed us to where we are today. But we are telling them and assuring our members that they should remain resolute and that for this year's negotiation, we are not going to give in to any. Uh, 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 semantics, any gymnastics that the government will do. We are receiving 15% cola at the moment. If you tell us that you are giving us 15% and you are taking off cola in December, it's zero. So we, we are not actually negotiating when you have tabled 15%. With inflation at 44%, when you take individual goods, some are at 100% and 120% and over. So the increment in goods and services is a difficult situation that we are all dealing with, not even just as public sector workers, but as Ghanaians as a whole. So it is not just about the health sector or education sector, it's about all of us as workers of Ghana.